welcome back. My name is Lynn Wilson and welcome to my home. I hope the shadows aren't too bad. I'm trying to get the lighting working and it's just not cooperating. So I apologize if the lighting is a little fluky. My husband is helping our son. He is kind of redoing his room a little bit. So I'm on my own here and I'm not doing a good job. But guess what I did? I went on vacation and I went to visit friends that are in New York State and we got home and on the way home, we just took a leisurely drive home. It was great. And my mom house sat with my son. So they got to bond and hang out. I had food here for them. Got a lot of convenience stuff and I had some other stuff in the freezer, but all that. But my husband and I kept seeing up where we were in New York, there were a lot of Trader Joe's and we kept going on the way home. Maybe we should stop at Trader Joe's. So I did. Now, I took just a couple of pictures that you saw in the beginning. That was it. When I say it's an understatement that the store was crowded, let me say the store was crowded. You had to wait in line to look at anything. The store was well stocked. There wasn't a bare shelf in the place. There wasn't a product you couldn't find. They were stocking, stocking, stocking. And, but you had to wait. There was, I wanted to, I, to get lettuce and I'm standing there waiting and waiting and waiting because there were so many, there had to be five or six people in front of me. So I was not about to whip out the camera and go, Hey, I, can you want to be in the vlog? Will I video some film for YouTube? So I didn't, I want to go on a day that's like maybe the end of the day and I'll do a browse with me. So you can see for yourself. I know I heard a lot about Trader Joe's and I didn't know what that place was all about. My husband has sat in the car every time we went. And this time he went in the store and he was like, as he looked around. And then we went to check out. And if you've never been to Trader Joe's, checking out is an experience and I love it. So he got to experience what it's like to check out at Trader Joe's. We got in the car and he said, this place is great. I said, I told you. Well stocked, prices were good. People are so courteous there. I just, there's nothing about Trader Joe's I don't like. Love, love Trader Joe's. This is not sponsored. I, Trader Joe's, you wanna sponsor me? No problem. But um, yeah, it was great. But like I said, there were too many people. I really couldn't film anything. It was just impossible. I will go another day though. So I was looking at something on either, I don't know, Facebook, I think maybe it was Google. I could kick myself while we were on vacation. I saw this thing. I can't remember if it was in the state of New Jersey or what, but anyway, it was a list of the best 10 stores to shop at. And Trader Joe's was number five. Coming in at five, I think Aldi was four and Walmart was seven. So yes, Trader Joe's has good prices. And one of the other things I like, the prices are good, they're competitive, and people, I get, I think Trader Joe's gets a bad rap for prices. I hear people say all the time, they're so expensive. Well, you can buy organic everything, and yes, they will be expensive. Example, bananas were 19 cents a pound. That's really cheap, at least in my area. Organic was 29 cents a pound. You want to pay 10 cents more a pound for organic? Go for it. It's a free country. You can do that. I paid 19 cents a pound. Um, there were other things like that. They're organic that between the bag of organic golden potatoes and the golden potatoes regular was a dollar difference. I'm not doing it. I'll buy the regular. That's just me. I can't afford all organic. And um, I do like to get some things organic like my milk. That's, that's hands down. Don't like to compromise in that area. I don't really know if organic, I know you're going to have people that will argue with me, but how organic is organic? Mm, you know, sometimes I don't really know. That's not to say I still don't buy some things organic, but you can get the regular stuff at Trader Joe's and get a good buy. Now, with that being said, yes, there are some things that are expensive, but no matter what grocery store I go to, I can get my buys and then I can get stuff that's expensive. I spent $125.
and I got, I feel, a decent amount of stuff, and I got a lot of, not a lot, half fresh fruits and vegetables, some breads and, and some miscellaneous, and then some convenience foods. Yes, I buy convenience foods because it makes my life convenient. So I'm on vacation for another day or two, and then it's back to the nine to five. So some of these convenience foods are for me. Uh, first couple days back after being on vacation, I just like to know I have certain things in the freezer or the fridge that I can pull on quickly, yada, yada, yada. I don't even need to explain myself. It is what I do. I just, I buy convenience food sometimes. So what I'm going to do is lay everything out on the table. And I'm going to just show you what I got. Try and remember some prices. Try and find the receipt. I will tell you this though. Yeah. Organic eggs. Do I buy organic eggs? Not normally. Did I buy organic eggs this time? Yes. One dozen eggs. Organic. Three forty-nine a dozen. Now, I was looking back at a video. I did in 2020 and I paid 27 cents a dozen at Aldi. 27 cents. Then I had one that was 68 cents. I know those days are gone. I, it, I had to laugh because you either laugh or you cry. So I'm choosing to laugh, but at 349 a dozen, boy, it must've been sitting next to the broccoli. The box smells like broccoli. They're 349 a dozen for organic eggs. They were 449 for regular eggs. I don't know, have you noticed that in your area, even at Stop and Shop, the most expensive store in my area, the organic eggs are a lot cheaper than the regular eggs? I don't know, go figure. So we got organic, $3.49 a dozen people if you need eggs. My grocery stores, uh, Walmart and all the rest are between five to $7 a dozen, $3.49. I only got one, I had some eggs in the fridge, I can only fit so much. I can't fit them in the freezer. I don't have the time to do it. Just passing that good news on to you. I got one for me and one for my mom. So there you go. So let me lay out the food. Let me show you what we got. And that'll be a wrap. So I hope you enjoy this video. Hang on and you'll get to see what I got. Okay, guys. So I apologize if my hand is shaky. I'm just holding the phone. And let me show you what we got. So we got some yogurt. We got a, what was this one? Graham, these are Graham's selections. Vanilla bean, guava passion fruit, which sounds really good. And then a honey. I did get the bananas, 19 cents a pound. I picked this up. It was pizza sprinkle seasoning blend. And it said just to add a pizza flavor to anything. Um, sprinkle adds pizza to any dish generously sprinkle on your favorite vegetables so i don't know i thought it was i think it was like 219 so i picked it up love this idea i've never seen this before the two different grapes in one package i picked that up we did get some fresh mushrooms i want to do some omelets for graham french onion soup i did get something like that at costco's they are frozen for two graham and i will enjoy that one night i did pick up some chicken breast tenderloins. We have a family birthday coming up at the end of this week. So I'm gonna be putting those in the crock pot. And I paid $5.49 for this bag of potatoes, five pound bag. And it was $6.49 for organic. So I went with that one. And that'll go with our chicken. I probably do, I think I'm doing a cracked chicken in the crock pot, so we'll see. And I picked up some strawberries and some grape tomatoes. These are going to be roasted. I don't know if I'm going to use those with the chicken or separately, but I might just do a pasta dish where you roast those. And I saw you saw my video on that. These, oh my word, they are, so I'm going to show you, they, the absolute best, sweetest, deliciousness, heavenly, as it says, tomatoes. So I got that for salad. Uh, let's go back here. I got an orange strawberry banana. I felt like some juice dog treats for the kips and this now I use we've talked about that on one of my videos I use when shampoo only and this says cleansing and conditioning hair wash so I don't know if it's like when but it was $4.99 and I'm gonna try it so it is grapefruit and mint scent 
I don't know. I want to try it. I really like Trader Joe's stuff. Okay, in the back here, I have tilapia. It is frozen. I'm getting that to go along with the chicken when we have a birthday dinner. Got a bag of lettuce. Got some artisan bread. Um, got two bags of broccoli. These were $3.49. And I think if I had bought one big bag at Walmart, it is $7. So two of these would equate that. So that's about the same price. Bag of green beans. These were $3.49. I'm going to roast those up. My daughter-in-law roast them up with soy sauce and Parmesan cheese in the oven. Oh my word, so good. Over here, I got some Italian meatballs. I have never tried them, fully cooked. They just looked good and they're going in the freezer for the night I come home and I don't feel like cooking, but I don't wanna do takeout. These were, I think, $4.99. So they weren't too bad and it's cheaper than eating out picked up six of the macaroni and cheese. Yes, people, macaroni and cheese frozen. If you've never tried this brand, Joe's Diner macaroni and cheese, you cannot make it to taste this good. It is outrageously delicious. I don't know if I said I got a loaf of bread. So tonight we're having macaroni and cheese, artisan bread, salad with my heavenly tomatoes. Okay, you can tell I've been on vacation. I have some energy and I'm happy. This is steel cut oatmeal. I have steel cut oatmeal and I make it all the time. Not all the time, a lot. Brown sugar and maple syrup, two packages. I get this from me as an emergency. I must grab and go for breakfast at work. So these are going in the freezer for the mom. Um, Graham picked out almond butter filled pretzels. He picked out these corn chips. He picked out everything but the bagel seasoned kettled corned potato chips. And then he picked out this dip. He was just having fun shopping. So there you go. And of course my eggs. I think that was everything. The only other thing I bought was a bouquet of, or a, it was a mom. I think it was a mom yellow flowers for my mom. And I gave that to her for house sitting. So there you go, people. That's what I got. That's it. I am off and running to make dinner and enjoy the last few hours and days of my vacation. And I'll catch you all on the next video.